Welcome in to the Sports Card Breakdown. I'm Mike Bassick, former big league player, also sports card collector. Yes, people have asked me. I talk way more than just baseball cards. I collect football cards, I collect basketball cards, and also baseball cards. I love the NBA, love the playoffs. I'm excited to bring you players that I think cards could go up quite a bit in this NBA playoffs, or they might go down. I want to start off in the Eastern Conference. My favorite playoff matchup is Trey Young's Atlanta Hawks versus Julius Randle's New York Knicks. I know some of you are thinking, oh, what about R.J. Barrett? This is Julius Randle's New York Knicks. I get R.J. Barrett's cards are kind of hot right now, but if the New York Knicks are going to advance in the playoffs and have a long playoff run, it's all about Julius Randle. And for Trey Young, he finally makes the playoffs. I know finally, it's his third year, but he's in the playoffs. This is where you make a name for yourself. This is where your stock rises. It's in the playoffs in the NBA, not in the regular season. I wanna look at first Trey Young and where his card market has gone during this season. Okay, so as we get into market movers here, yes, this is what I use when people ask me, what, how do I look up cards now? If you're new into this, uh, it's sportscardinvestor.com, and this is the Market Movers app here. When we look at Trey Young and his 2018 three major rookie cards, his Optic, Prism, and Select, we see that early on in the year, his cards were at a pretty good price. Then we go to the major part of it where he was way up in January. And now when we look at $368, $249, and $153 approximately for his best cards, these are all in PSA 10. And you look at the pop reports uh, there of pretty decent pop reports. That prism's pretty high, which always worries me. When I get into the PSA 9s, which look, I'm a fan of PSA 9s. I know a lot of people are like, only PSA 10s. Um, I'm also a fan of BGS too, but I'm using the 10s and 9s here. When you look at the 9s and you look at where you're at and you look at the pop reports, by the way, that select pop report is always pretty low. You look at where we started at early on in the season. This is November, actually right before uh, the NBA season. And you look at the prices, you get the peak right when the season begins at $200, $180, a little over $100 for his optic. As the season progresses, remember the Atlanta Hawks start off 14 and 20 on the season, make a change with their coach, and then they take off and they get the five seed this year. You look at where his cards are now, they're down 50% from right before the season started and even more than 50% from when he hits his peak right when the season begins. I think Trey Young's cards can go up quite a bit. He's going to get, if they win this series, he's going to average approximately 30 and 10. If they win this series, his cards could go up a lot. I wanna also look at Julius Randle, the guy he's going against. I have to just do raw here. That means ungraded when you look at grades. His cards are so ungraded. I have to go to his Select and Prism cards, and I just have to go to Ungraded here. And when you look at where they're at, they've gone up some during this season because he was kind of a nobody uh, entering this season in the NBA. His cards have gone up about 30 to 40% from January 1st till the start of this year. This is where I now have to go to PSA the pop report because market movers doesn't even have him in the pop report. Cause look at this 72. That's it. He only has 72 graded cards in prism. As you look at some of the parallels, the blue and green 14 of them. If you just look at this, his card is, this is his most popular card right here. And it's barely graded. When you go to his prism, 30 of them, 17 in PSA 10. To me, this is the guy to buy. If they win in the playoffs, this is the New York Knicks led by Julius Randle. By the way, he averaged 37 and 12 against the Atlanta Hawks in the three regular season games. Will he do that in the playoffs? That's probably too much to ask. But if they win this playoff series and he leads New York, this is going to be uh, tremendous for him and his card values. By the way, he also has, I would say, the Knicks have $60 million in cap space after this season is over, and they're not really losing anybody, so they'll still have R.J. Barrett. They'll probably still have Derrick Rose. He'll have all the young guys with them. So the New York Knicks could be a team on the rise, and they've done a lot to help out uh, with the general manager and what they're doing. I think players will look at New York now and want to go to New York instead of avoiding uh, the Knicks. Now, 
The next matchup I want to go to is the Western Conference's and the market movers right now, and that's Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. These are the one-two seeds. Utah's one, Phoenix is two. We don't really think of these guys as superstars, but if they were to take their team to the NBA Finals, all of a sudden, one of these guys, whether it's Booker or whether it's Mitchell, they enter superstar status. As I go to market movers right here, and I'm looking at Devin Booker, these are his PSA 9s right here, Prism, Select, and Donruss. I chose three of his cards. I'll tell you what, the pop report is super low, by the way, on his court side, Select at 16 only. But I was surprised how expensive his cards already were. For a guy that's never played in a playoff game until this season, I can't even find playoff numbers when I go to basketball reference because he hasn't been in the playoffs in his whole career. He's a two-time All-Star. He's still super young at 24 years old. I'm not buying on Devin Booker. In fact, I think his cards could go down. When I look at where they're at right now, he's not a superstar. He's not an All-NBA first or second team guy this year. Maybe he makes All-NBA third team. It's going to be Chris Paul who makes the All-NBA team from the Phoenix Suns. So, Next guy is Donovan Mitchell. I do think the Utah Jazz have a much better chance uh, of making a deep playoff run, making it to the NBA Finals, and winning it all. Now, he needs to be healthy. As I look at his PSA 10, Optic, Prism, and Select here on Market Movers, we see that his cards went up when Utah got hot, and we saw that they were probably going to be the number one seed in the Western Conference, which they held on to. Uh, his cards went up a little bit, but he got hurt, and his cards went back down to where they were. Now when you look at his PSA 9s, and look, I'm a PSA 9 fan. I love 10s, but PSA 9s aren't that bad to collect. And I'm in this for collecting a lot more than flipping. And when I get a PSA 9 that looks great, I'm okay with that. I don't have to get the 10. When we look at the prices here, and we look at what he's done throughout the season. When you look at the lines, now his select did go up. That's the green. But when you look at the purple, which is his prism, and you look at the optic, which is his blue, they stayed pretty much the same throughout the season. And in fact, his prism went down. I think Donovan Mitchell is a great buy for these playoffs because I think they're going to win in the first round. You look at the two-time All-Star, 24 years old. He's been in the playoffs. This is his fourth year in the playoffs. Utah is not uh, new to this. I think they're going to have a deep playoff run. I think they're going to get to the conference finals, possibly even the NBA finals. He averaged 36 a game. And here's the deal. They're ready to win if they're healthy. This is their fourth year in the playoffs in a row. So Utah has been through some of the battles. Last year, he averages 36, by the way. That was the most. In a seven-game series, they lose to Denver in the first round last year. I think Donovan Mitchell could be a guy that elevates himself into superstar status. I don't like this guy at all, Dwayne Wade. But he reminds me a lot of Dwayne Wade. I respect his game. I respect what he accomplished. This could be 2006 Dwayne Wade all over again, except for Donovan Mitchell on the biggest stage. The one thing is... He needs to stay healthy. That's the, the thing for Donovan Mitchell and for the Utah Jazz. It will be led by him. If he's healthy, I really think this could be kind of a 2006 Miami Heat situation for the Utah Jazz. Hey, it's the playoffs. This is my guess. It doesn't mean you should go by or shouldn't go by. Remember, this is your collection, right? And, and I'm not buying Devin Booker. I'm buying a little bit of... Uh, right now, Donovan Mitchell, and I'm buying quite a bit right now of Julius Randle. Those are the two guys I'm kind of betting on for these 2021 playoffs. Next time, it might be baseball. It might be football. This time, it was about the NBA playoffs and basketball. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time on the Sports Card Breakdown.